27 verse 9. Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love him and keep his commandments to a thousand generations. The psalmist said, your faithfulness endures to all generations. Our God is a covenant keeping God. Our God is a God who agrees with man, covenants with man, comes into agreement or contractual obligation with man, not because man can bring him there, but because he chooses to covenant with man. He chooses to make himself answerable or accountable for his action by making a sworn commitment with man, with man who he created, but because he loves us so much, because he enjoys relationship with us so much, he condescends and covenants with us. And then he doesn't do it simply as an academic exercise. He doesn't do it because he can and breaks it because he can. But he holds himself to the terms of the covenant he makes. He keeps his covenants even to a thousand generations. He is the covenant keeping God. So much so that the passing of generations cannot cancel or block his promises. The passing of generations does not nullify the conditions and agreements that he made with us. Deuteronomy 7 and verse 8 says, But it is because the Lord loves you and is keeping the oath that he swore to your fathers that the Lord has brought you out with a mighty hand and redeemed you from the house of slavery, from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Moses was saying to Israel, that the reason God came through for you, the reason he delivered you as mightily as he did, was that he made a promise to your father Abraham. He made a promise to your fathers Jacob and Isaac. Because he made a covenant with them, even though it was now centuries later, he kept his word. Even though Abraham was long dead, Jacob, Isaac and Jacob were long dead. He never saw their death as a basis to release him from his covenant. He is a covenant keeping God. Some of the blessings you are experiencing now may have even come from his agreement and promises to your four parents. He will bless your seed and your seed's seed. He will bless generations to come because of your relationship with him and the promises he's made to you. We can be certain that God will keep his promises, that God will honor his covenants, 
and that not even death can cause God to dishonor his covenants. He will keep his covenants even to a thousand generations. God bless you. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And for more, join us at 9 a.m. at 10 Union Square, Crossroads, Kingston, Jamaica. If you can't be there in person, join us virtually via YouTube Live.